is it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. Oh, they're going off over there. <laughs> My name is Aaron Young. You know Will. Today the mission, oh, they're right behind the boat. <laughs> they're messing with me. Every time I try to film, they come up and crash. The goal today is to find a yellow jack. Um, long story short, we tried to catch bait this morning. Well, we did catch bait this morning. Took about almost three hours, two and a half hours. Finally got some live bait. And a couple weeks ago, I was in the food store. If you know anything about me, I love going to the food store and I love food. I was kind of looking around and I found um, spring roll wraps. And I'm a huge fan of spring rolls, but I've never actually made them myself. So I kind of got the wheels turning. And initially I wanted to make lobster spring rolls. And the more I thought about it, I didn't really like the idea of the chewy lobster and, that, and whatnot. So one of my favorite fish here is yellow jack that we have uh, here in Key West. And if you're not familiar with the yellow jack, it's almost like a Pacific yellowtail or hamachi. If you've ever seen hamachi or yellowtail on a sushi menu, it's the Atlantic version of that. You can eat it raw, seared, um, sashimi style. Pretty much you can do anything with it. It's really great. So the goal today, we are going to try and live bait some yellow jacks for spring rolls. So we've been tossing some live bait. We're going to get some lines here in the water in just a second. See, um, see if we can get some fish in the boat. The same setup I always use, just a little 5,000. It's pretty much overkill for what I'm doing here, but I'm not going to buy a smaller reel for the sake of having a reel small enough to catch these. So uh, 5,000, 15 pound uh, monofilament and 15 pound fluorocarbon leader and just a little jig. distinct factor to me is they're long they're a little longer and a little thinner and they have that blue stripe on the top opposed to a yellow streak the yellow jacks can have a yellow streak or the whole body can be yellow but that is a bar jack and I've heard these are actually delicious but if he was a little bigger I'd maybe give him a try but we're gonna let him go After mine too. Alright, not dropping this one. Oh, hey, I'm on. <laughs> I'm on. <laughs> there we go. That was cool. They all came up together. Will kind of handed that one to me. Yellow, yellow jack. <laughs> Another yellow jack. So these actually don't have a size limit and they are delicious no matter what size they are. I typically am not going to keep them under 12, 13 inches. That guy's probably, I'll tell you right now, probably 13. Four, 14 fork length, so he's going to come home with us. I know he's a little small, but they taste just the same. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to get eaten fairly quickly. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
that was cool. These things, when they get fired up, they come up to the surface and just crash. And like I said, they're a little smaller today, but they eat the same. No size limit. No size limit. I think there's a general limit of 100 pounds, but I realistically only need two or three. looks like a total loss there's a still still a loin there you know that's not ideal but unfortunately it happens sometimes there's still a loin there that I can take advantage of and I can get some meat off of that fish so legally speaking typically if you have a fish that gets sharked or, or eaten by a cuda and after it has been eaten what is left is shorter than the current regulations you're not supposed to keep the fish but this fish doesn't have a size limit um, so I am able to keep it, but that's just something to keep in mind that I learned. A long time ago, I got stopped by an FWC officer and they told me that if the remainder of the fish is shorter than the current limit, because they can't prove the fish was longer, um, then technically you couldn't keep it, but we're good on this guy. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Will is on. <laughs> This on the artificial you a snapper? Uh, fighting bear, like a lot, a lot of insects. Not just that steam truck, you know? Oh! Yeah, nice yellowtail. <laughs> Big yellowtail. Hey, All right. <laughs> I'll take that. There we go. On the artificial. Do you want my expert opinion? Okay. I don't think the artificial would work had you not been thrown no. out live bait. Oh. Frenzy Yeah, that's, that's an ancient Chinese secret. Oh, mangrove. <laughs> nice. It's the same thing with the tunas. Yeah. You can get them on the artificial. Oh my gosh, they're going nuts back there. So what Will was saying is he said, I don't think had we not throwing the live bait would he be able to catch them on artificial oh. which is probably true in most cases we do, we do the same thing with the black ones off the door get them, get them fired up on live bait and then throw something in there and they just kind of get lost in the confusion they're more likely to eat an artificial every single fish will has caught has been on artificial rubbed so that was my fault I hadn't changed my hook in like four or five fish classic rookie mistake Yeah, I got the net. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, 
This fish has got a little more, a little more backbone to it. It's still acting like a jack, but it, it feels heavier than a jack. I don't know, man. Oh, he's foul hooked. Oh, it is a big foul hook snapper. Wow. That is awesome. That is a big yellow tail. Dude. An awkward fight. That's a really big yellow tail. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. Oh. 18 inches. That's a big yellow tail for the reef. And I'm going to show you. I thought mine was big. We're in 11 feet of water on a rock pile. That is cool. I'll take those. Be repetitive, I don't know, but I could do this all day, every day. That was that was a black grouper on top water. Did you see that? Perfect, spit it out. That was a little baby black grouper, about 16, 17 inch black grouper on top water. It came all the way up to the surface to eat it. I might be competing with you for. we need. We got plenty for spring rolls and a few fish left over for the week. I know buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right under the gills, you'll hit that heart and you can see the blood leave pretty quickly. Yellow jacks are pretty straightforward to fillet. Kind of like most fish, no hidden surprises. Oh. See all my bait in his belly. Like I said, these are about as close to Hamachi or Pacific Yellowtail that we get, in my opinion. It's a white, white firm, cooks well, it's great raw, ceviche, sashimi. Kind of, kind of a great all around fish. These have been sitting on ice for the better part of the day, so they're nice and firmed up.
beautiful white meat. See you in the kitchen. The whole tune dog. Tuna, what you doing? Alrighty, welcome back to the kitchen. So first off, fun fact, spring rolls and summer rolls are two very different things, I learned. So I saw these in the store, said spring rolls, and I always thought the ones I bought at the place uh, in town were spring rolls, but actually they're summer rolls. Spring rolls are fried, correct? Yep. And summer rolls are not fried. Um, so we're actually making summer rolls. I lied. This was my first attempt, uh, and we're learning as we go. So I'll tell you what we've got. Avocado, cucumber, we got some shredded carrots, cilantro, this is our yellow jack. Um, I literally, it was salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, or uh, ginger powder, and I just seared them, uh, I call it medium. There's a little bit of pink left in there. And then we've got some sauce, compliments of Will. It was about two scoops of peanut butter, half a cup of coconut milk, sambal? Sambal. Sambal. Uh, some spicy garlic chili stuff, uh, about a spoon of that, and then some hoisin sauce, and a little bit of fish sauce. And we've got our noodles. First time trying these, so we're gonna give this another go. The first one did not go so well. So what's wild about these things is as they come out, they're like hard, like Frisbees. And I've never done this, so, well, other than that one, and you saw how that worked out. So you gotta put these in warm water, and they'll kind of soften up a bit. It's the transport, it's all about the transport. Now, this stuff is like saran wrap. It doesn't stick to anything except for itself. So just keep that in mind. Maybe just block that off just a hair. Oh, oh I ruined it. Might as well start over. All right, that was actually better than the first one. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do some, some veggies first. A little bit of carrot shreds. Cilantro. Not cilantro, cucumber. Give me some avocado. Do this piece right here, yellow jack. We're gonna forego the cilantro. We're gonna try and get this one to stick together. That looks like it's good enough. And I will tell you, after seeing how the first one went, I really appreciate whoever it is that makes these at Sister Noodle House and how you make them not break and they're beautiful. Oh no. Oh yeah. Dude, that's it. Dude, I got it. That. Dude, that was tenfold better. Look at that. <laughs> that, <laughs> the, <laughs> that one came loose. Look at that. I'm proud of that one. I'll put it on a different plate. <laughs> All right, so we're going to attempt to make a few of these that look like that. And then we're going to do a taste test. Man, I got way better at doing this. <laughs> JK, Will made those himself. These are mine. <laughs> So tonight it is just Will and I. Madeline is actually in Miami, dress shopping. So, let's dig in. <laughs> what you think? Texture's right. Oh yeah, that sauce is killer. Wow. That's good. I really, really like that. That is spectacular. You know what I would add to these? Hmm. Jalapeno. I was thinking the red chilies, but yeah, our red chili plant died. <laughs> wow, that is actually really, really good. That was the first time doing that. Excuse me. <clears throat> Well, that is all we've got. I'm gonna dig in. 
Thanks so much for tuning in. As always, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments. I will get to them. And we will see you on the next one. Bye, Tipsy. See ya. <laughs>